It is. <laughs> you sure it's the screen? I'm positive. Yeah, there you go. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's Friday. It's time for this week in real estate. Mr. Bob Zadora, how are you, sir? I'm great. I'm great. Not crooked? Not crooked. No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that he's right. not crooked. Not. He says no. He's not. Screen. He's not crooked. That's Come on, the screen. Scooter's going to jump up and fix it, though. <laughs> Don't bother. I just noticed it when it was coming up. Uh -huh. <sighs> when do we go? When do we go live? In three, two, one. Oh, okay. Nobody counted it down, so yeah, I was confused. Oh, you did missed he? it. Oh. You were too I was. I was, I was the focus with the <laughs> with the screen being up. Right hand side's low. Yep. How's life in the real estate world? You know, it's still good. Yeah, so good going forward. I'm, you know, talking to people, uh, talking to people on the phone, people coming in. Uh, I had a guy who wanted to come in next weekend, and I says, you know, you may want to put that off for a week. <laughs> it's, it's probably not going to be the best time here in town. Didn't, not a, didn't have a clue, and uh, so he's we back him up a little bit, and I still be happier. You know, we're in the in the path of total. We are darkness. path of totality. Total darkness. Yes, and. I was noticing on the map yesterday, you know the largest city that's in the map of that, in the path of that? No. I think Dallas, Texas. Oh, really? Can okay. you imagine? It's going to be a nightmare down there. Well, it'll be a nightmare. Yes, it yeah. will be. It'll be a night it'll day. Be, it'll be a night yeah, be a moment. Test. Well, depends on how long they're in. I how mean, long are we supposed to be in? It's like three minutes and ten seconds, I think it is. I don't know that you'll notice the ten seconds one way or the other, but... Uh, and that's when the, it'll be dark, dark. And you'll it, notice the three minutes for sure. Yeah, and it, that'll, it'll be night. And you'll be able to see stars that you normally can't see because of the way the earth is turned, the, you know, the way we see the sky for that during the day is a little different. Now, is it you or Miss Linda that's into the astrology of the star stuff? Because I know one of y'all post about the space station. Oh, we put the, yeah, well, yeah. I like watching the <coughs> space station go over. It's kind of cool. We go out there. It goes over. It goes over here a lot, and it seems like it goes right over the house when it when it does. Can you I, see I it with the naked why. eye? Oh yeah, really? Yeah. I mean, you can see you can see the difference in the light, and you can see the motion as it as it comes over. I remember a couple of years ago we were, when we were still in Big Creek, uh, it came over during the day, and, and it may come over during the day, and you just you're just not aware of it. But it, there was a KY three had run something about it going to be on there. Mm -hmm. It was like five o'clock at night, and it was low. I mean, it was you could really tell what it was. So, the things you can see in the Ozarks that you don't get to see anywhere. But that's else. very true. Very true. You know, you got that the sky is clearer here. You don't have as much pollution. You don't have as much you know just junk in general, except when they're burning stuff. So you had some visitors here from the Great North. We did. We did. We did had you, my son and his uh, girlfriend were down here for. Did you get them out on the river? No, they didn't go to the river. No, they didn't go to the river. I don't have a boat. I thought I probably could have taken him down and put him in a boat, but no, I didn't. Uh, and the river was up and down last week. It was, mm -hmm. it was lots of fluctuations, lots of fluctuation. with the weather. Yeah, yeah, with the rain coming down and stuff. They it seemed like they had had it turned off uh, during um, Salbug to try to help the guys and girls mm -hmm. get out on the river and be able to fish a little bit. But uh, they were trying to compensate for that, and then the rain came, and that was okay. No river. You know, going from, they live downtown Chicago, is that correct? No, they live out in the suburbs. They, they live, live in the suburbs. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's still busy there. Oh, yeah. A lot, oh, yeah. A lot it's a lot busy. busy than, it's a lot busy than it was when we left. I went up there to visit uh, one of my last trips up, and where there was like nothing but cornfields and, you know, farmland and stuff, all malls and strip malls and yeah, houses apartment and complex, and I was like, holy cow. Yeah. So yeah. What I'm getting at is the quality of life is a little bit different oh, here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, oh yeah. Of course, if you don't know anything other than then where you're at is just that's we well fine. sure because we do we do that we used to what we're used to. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that waking up uh, there, and I'm not just talking about your kids, yeah. but waking up there wherever there may be, with your cup of coffee going on the back porch and you're hearing the semis go by from wherever distance sure. oh, they yeah. are. Versus going out on the back deck at, at Zadora home, yeah. uh, looking over the river, and you'll see the semi go across the bypass, and you might occasionally see the car go across the Rainbow Bridge and see the fishermen on the White River. Things are a little bit different here. They like it. Yeah. They like it. I mean, once you're down for a little bit, 
you know, it's, it's hard if you're down for two, three days. It's kind of because you're just decompressing for a while. And we see that with people that come down. You know, we try to encourage them to spend a couple of days. You know, it's, there's a lot to see. And you just got to kind of settle down a little bit and then enjoy what's here. Mm -hmm. And there's people, I mean, there's people who have a, do a great job of um, acclimating to us here. You know, the, they're like, okay, this is good. And those who don't, they know it pretty quick that this really isn't for them. There isn't enough nightlife. There isn't enough, mm -hmm. you know, I need 40 restaurants instead of 25, I, yeah. whatever the case may be. Um, you know, I need three movie theaters. I need a movie theater where they serve me at my at the, the seat and stuff like that. Okay, fine. You know, this is not the place for this you. This is not for you, and you know, hope you enjoy the stay. Come back again, visit, fish, enjoy the outdoors, yeah. take a walking trail. Yeah. So. Yeah. Don't don't come here thinking you're going to change it. That's the biggest part of it. That's the yeah. biggest part. I mean, in talking to Jason a couple of weeks ago when we had him on here, and that's one of the things he said, which is, and that's really the key to success. We didn't come here and try to, I could tell pretty quick that that was not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to, they're not going to change for Bob. Uh, and to just kind of wrap my head around that and say, okay, we'll be okay here. And you, you know that when you come, what, what the way of life is. Mm hmm that's it now what to expect when you get here yeah yeah and while you're here and you're checking out homes and you're checking out different businesses that are here check out the pace of things check out how long does it take you to get from your house to the walmart or your house to the courthouse or your house to wherever you're looking to go and compare that to how long it took you to get from your house to work oh yeah i mean there's no comparison i mean people when you say that that you're gonna go, you know, you can go big shopping, as it were, you know, go to Springfield or Fayetteville, or, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, they, they, the concept of time in the car that long. I said, but it's a nice drive. You're not fighting traffic. You're looking at moo cows. You're looking out at the fields. You're doing, you know, people go by, they wave, they use all their fingers. It's a kind of an alien concept, but you'll get used to it. Yeah. In, in just a many many people have i mean you can look at the population how it's grown you can look at the number of houses that sold over COVID, with people just getting away from where they were i don't see those houses coming back on the market then i have people saying oh man we did it we made a terrible mistake we got to get out of here i don't hear that mm -hmm. you know those that are those that are leaving have issues that they have to address someplace else that's the reason that they're moving Right. Uh, we're not getting people that are moving around just to move around, mainly because of interest rates. You know, you're not going to lose a three, three and a half percent interest rate for a six and a, three quarters just to move from Southern Meadows to, you know, Big Creek or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that's kind of that's taken that part of the market out throughout you, the country. Do you remember what the population mountain home was when you moved here? We were around, it was just around 10, I think. Because, yeah, it was around 10 because people would say, they'd say, I, I'm, I'm a retired policeman, for those who don't know, from Chicago. And they'd say, oh, do you know Officer Smith, Jones, whatever. And I, sometimes I would, you know, there'd be, be occasion where, oh, yeah, I did. I worked on the West Side with him, whatever. And but I, that I would tell them, I says, you got to understand. I says, there are more Chicago police officers than there are residents of Mountain Home. Yeah. And at the time, that was true. Those numbers have since changed. But, but at the time, and I says, and that's not counting the retirees. That, that was on-duty policemen, you know, drawing, drawing a full salary check. And they kind of, and we kind of lose track of that here, mm -hmm. you know, as far as how big is big. You know, when you, you they go to the cities and they, they go places, and it's kind of, whoa. What year was that? That was, it was 21 years ago. Okay. So it was, well, it was actually, it was, yeah, we came in in 73. Nine, oh, three. I got on the job. <laughs> <laughs> in 03. In 03 we came So in. 21 years ago. Yeah. So when we moved here in 72, Oh, it was a change. Fifty eight hundred. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The city limits was that way. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty almost, much almost a cardinal. Cardinal, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, because when they, I, I, in talking to people that have been for a while, when, where they built the, where the Chevy store is now mm -hmm. over here, that was like out. Yeah, it was yeah. way out of town. Yeah. And well, when they built the Ramada, we, everybody thought, well, that's crazy. Nobody's going to go out of town this day. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It, it was about two weeks later they made it in town. <laughs> so. it, didn't, it didn't take long. I mean, and that's it, it, it just a matter of expanding. And uh, Hillary, I think, has done a great job mm -hmm. with getting the sewer and the water and the facilities out to be able to absorb some of these areas into, uh, into the city. And that makes a big difference. It makes a big difference tax-wise and things that the city can do to help more people, you know, with it, different the programs. The infrastructure, for the most part, has done a well, a good job keeping up with things. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, when we moved here, it was a two-lane road all the way through town. Now it's a five-lane road all the way through town. Yeah. You know, so things are changed and things go with the flow and it, it changes. Uh, people changed. Areas changed. Markets changed. Sure. How's our market today? Our market is, we're still moving forward. I mean, it's, pe houses are going under contract right away. Uh, we're not seeing as many, uh, we're, we're down some for homes that are available. We're down to 285 and it's like the third week that it's kind of dropped some. Uh, some of them are just coming off the market. They're just gonna wait a little bit because it just, nothing's happening on them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a matter of get, being priced right is, is in all things, you know, to sell anything. I don't care, you know, cars, lawnmowers, whatever the case may be, car washes. It's a matter of being priced right for what the market can do, and that's that's where we are with that now. Uh, but this week in real estate, there were 58 new listings came on the market, 34 parcels of land, 24 homes came on the market. They range in price from 54,000 to 1.2 million. Two of them are taking backups. Uh, there are 22 sales, one commercial property, six parcels of land. 15 homes sold. They range in price from 26,000 to 595,000. So the average sale price this week was 264 with 92 days on market. 18 properties expired. There's, uh, there were 19 residential price changes and there's 44 pending waiting to close. Currently we're at uh, 285 uh, homes that are available. Those are homes you can walk in and buy right now. They're not encumbered by anything. Uh, year to date, for 2024, there's been 182 homes have sold for 42 million. The average sale price this year is 232 with 89 days on market. Uh, for 2023, there had been 205 homes that sold. The average sale price last year was $222,000 with 91 days on market. Uh, in 22, there were 262 sales. The average sale price was 221. In 21, there had been 235 sales. These are COVID uh, times. Uh, the average sale price was 179. And in 2020, there had been 218 homes that sold for $156,000. So you can see the interest rates being, you know, three percent kept the price. You know, the people were buying these homes, and that's what pushed the prices up. You know, from 156 to 179 to 221 to 220 to 232 each year, and now the the rates have, uh, but the numbers have fallen as far as the volume of homes. But the prices of people still want to come here. People are those that are able to sell their homes someplace else. That's what they're doing. There you go. How they get you? Call Linda. <laughs> She's at 870-405-0793. She keeps the books and she does all the planning and everything. So if, if people call me and say, well, can you come look at the house? And I said, well, we can, but I have no idea of when. So you got to call Linda because she keeps all of that and does a great job with that and make sure that the other agents of the team, uh, Sam and April and uh, Reese Tubbs and Darlene all have work and make sure that they're, you know, it's what's fitting with their schedules. So, but you call her, she's at 870-405-0793. You can check out the website, retiredarkansas.net. Uh, the cameras are on there. They're going all day, all night. You can take a look at the bridge at night and see the light changing on there. They, they do a real nice job with that. Uh, there's a lot of other information on there. The whole MLS is on there. So you can go there, retiredarkansas.net, but the, call Linda, 870 Four zero five zero seven nine three. Happy go. Vietnam Veterans Day to my fellow veterans. Um, 
we're here. Happy Easter. And happy Easter. There you go. It is. It's been This Week in Real Estate with Mr. Bob Zador, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty, 870-405-0793 is your number. You can watch the morning show on XL7 TV. We'll be back with Coach Blake Hendricks, Lady Bomber Softball, in just a moment.